All right. So I um, just want to say hello and uh, and just things have gone very weird. I live in Seattle and you know when I first discovered Destiny and I, I wanted to just talk briefly about Destiny and my experience, uh, and the, the positive stuff that I had. When I discovered Destiny, it was the height of the anti-war movement in the States in the mid-2000s to late-2000s. And there was this really feeling of doom, uh, and, you know, I was going down this conspiracy rabbit hole, you know, the YouTube stuff, and, you know, you're like, Illuminati this, uh, Deep State this, and then, uh, you know, we had the 2012 conspiracies, you know, Doomsday prophecies, and, and all this stuff, you know, uh, you start, you know, research about transhumanism, and, and uh, eugenics, and Nazis, and all this stuff, and it, it's overwhelming, and then you start, uh, you know, the, your paranoia, you can get consumed with it, especially when we start looking at how dark the world uh, can be. A lot of things that we've allowed and accepted to take place in this this world is very dark. And then, you know, it, and there's a hopelessness attached to all that because we can't even talk about 9-11. Uh, you know, the, you know, the and people can't believe that that um, there's an alternative there would be an alternative motive between uh, you know those skyscrapers going down and the budget office at the Pentagon being blown up can't even talk about it and it's just like you just see like the how programmed society has become and, you see, and then you start to reflect on your own programming and you're just going spinning out of control and for me, like, I was, the, finding, you know, the, the interviews that were being released, uh, on YouTube in 2005, 2006, discovering, uh, you know, uh, Sinet and, uh, her online persona, Wing, the, um, man, that was, that was like a, a rope, a life, a life, lifeboat for my consciousness, uh. Because uh, it really empowered me um, to understand that that um, I didn't need to be paranoid anymore. Like, if I'm being, if I have interdimensional beings or demons or uh, guardian angels uh, or you know, or I like to casually refer to them as my prison guards. If they're harassing me, if they're around me and all this stuff, you got fairies and these things, uh, uh, just not being aware of them doesn't change uh, the fact that they may or may not exist. And I know that might not resonate with some of you guys, but the paranoia doesn't matter. I've been saying this recently. If you're on the plane, it's, no, it's too late to be scared of flying. And Destiny really helped me conquer all these fears with these uh, with self-forgiveness, self-honesty and just general knowledge of how our belief systems are constructed <sighs> so it, and as this community has grown and as the participation in the forum and, and moving on to Facebook and, and seeing this support group um in the dialogue, it's never been about identifying what is happening. You know, we we're all be kind of being left to our own devices to to have our own perceptions of what is and what isn't. The message has always been a, apolitical. Um, it, it's been a message of transcending um, our, our reality. Uh, not transcending our reality, but taking control of it and transcending the agendas that are put forth for us to uh, to adopt, T to transcend our belief systems, to be objective in our emotions, to be objective in our beliefs, be objective, period, be objective in our relationships. And, uh, you know, I've just always found comfort and solace 
in the fact that there's all these like-minded individuals out there, and we are very, we are a very powerful group of consciousness, and um, I think as things progress, and you know, we will persevere, no matter the the manifestation of our future and how that comes to be, if there's going to be a resolution or disclosure, um, or if there's going to be a general split in the species between uh, the transhumanists and, and basically us, or, you know, and, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. I'm just going to circle back for a second. I was started off by saying, you know, I got in in the mid, late 2000s, discovering you know, what's going on in the world, uh, from my point of view. And today, we're seeing a resurgence of the emotional hostilities and the, um, this cry for change, but the, from the public. And emotionally charged, and I'm finding myself regressing in, in a way that I'm, I'm wanting to engage in political debates and conversations with people and I have to uh, you know maybe I need to be honest and, and with myself and, and and forgive myself for thinking that trying to subliminally and consciously push people to understanding the corruption in this world as it is um and debate them on, on, on this level of uh, politicality, uh, politics, and it, it's not helping. It, you know, I might, I might, ch like, enlighten a few people with some tidbits of information about what's going on globally, but engaging in this political speech, I don't know if it's helping. Um, I don't think... Uh, I don't think it is. I think maybe I'm just regressing my focus into trying to decipher the the jigsaw puzzle, which is the current affairs of the world and the agendas that are being pushed forward by the global elite. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't know what's happening. All I have is this this phone that and my computer to tell me what is happening. So I, you know, I wanted to just talk for a minute about about that, and uh, you know, wrap it up with saying that I've really appreciated our community uh, for staying so consistent with its apolitical message of you know self betterment, uh, transparency, and non being non judgmental. You know, we're not judgmental where uh, we seek to understand the human experience and uh, yeah so thank you for listening and uh, you know, best of luck to everybody and if you guys want to chat with me about something just reach out I got uh, a lot going on and yeah <laughs>